Bohemia Interactive Simulations has released VBS Simulation SDK, a new software developer kit to customize and extend VBS3. The new SDK comes with VBS Control Editor, BISIM's AI Behavior Editing Toolkit, and a copy of VBS3, our flagship desktop training software. In this video, we'll provide an overview of the sample APIs available to developers in VBS Simulation SDK. The new SDK includes samples with code that can be reused for your own projects. Let's press F12 to open the debug UI and take a look at the samples. Let's check out the sample for the camera objects and their camera aspect API, which can be used to create and control cameras. This sample shows, using the SDK, an implementation of the classic VBS3 real-time editor camera and assigns its output to a render-to-texture surface. Within the sample, you can fly around with the camera or switch into the unit's camera perspective. We have the options to change the camera's field of view or lock onto the unit to showcase the implementation of an orbit camera. You can also cycle through the camera sensor view modes. Within the SDK, we are providing direct access to the configuration tree by introducing the Configuration API. The sample showcases how to navigate through the data structures and extract the information using the SDK. You can then save it to a text file. Next, we'll move on to the external control sample, which shows how to control entities with a different simulation mode. See the difference in behavior with interpolation, extrapolation, and ground clamping on a generated crowd ranging from 0 to 1500 units. That's our sample for creating a random crowd. Next, we demonstrate how to create actors ready for the control AI using scripts and how to add behavior trees. It also introduces orbit functionality. We'll create several groups here in the 2D editor. This sample shows how to set up the leaders of each group, and you can see how to join all the groups into a hierarchy. In the future, APIs are planned to allow the SDK to influence the control AI directly. The next sample shows the intersection functionality between objects and the terrain using the World API. On clicking, you will create objects on the intersection between the cursor and the terrain. If the ray intersects with an already existing object, the object can be dragged around. This sample also integrates the Collision Aspect Listener API, sending a message when a collision begins and ends. Let's move on to the next sample. Here, you can see how to set lifeform animations and preview animations by using the Lifeform API. The list of available animations for the selected unit is read and dynamically loaded using the Configuration API. Weapons can be switched and fired using the Weapon System Aspect API. Select the animation to preview with or without animation transitions from the current state. You can also quickly switch to different lifeforms and preview their animations. The next sample introduces marker objects and their creation in the RTE. You can create marker shapes and resize them. Again, the code for all these samples are included with the VBS Simulation SDK for your reuse. Now, we'll take a look at the model animation sample and how you can control model animations using the Animation Aspect API. In the sample, you can change the animation sources available for the given vehicle. For the Humvee, you can open and close the doors, hood, and trunk. And for other vehicles, such as helicopters and tanks, you can see that different animations are loaded.
This is a great way to preview animations for vehicles. The scenario sample shows the loading of already existing scenarios using the VBS simulation SDK. The sample showcases how to check what types of objects are present in the scenario. It also offers direct control to change various aspects of the object, such as the damage state. We will see how to pause the scenario and how to switch to different playable units. In this sample, we demonstrate attaching objects and changing transformation properties using the Transformation Aspect API. You can create vehicles and apply various transformations using mouse movement and keyboard shortcuts, like in the editor. After attachment, all transformations are applied to the child as well as the parent. Next up is the turret sample. This sample takes control over the turret using the Turret Aspect API, making it periodically turn side to side. When a shot is fired, it is detected by the on-fire event from the Weapon System Aspect Listener API and instantly deleted. In its place, a camera attaches to a newly spawned missile controlled by the SDK and follows its trajectory. When clicking, you detonate the missile and the camera returns to the tank. The UAV sample is next. The sample displays a UAV created by the simulation SDK with the camera object switched to its optic. The UAV observes a vehicle following waypoints and using the Weapon System Aspect API, the UAV locks onto the target with the laser designator. Once the visibility of the target reaches a certain threshold, a Hellfire missile is fired onto the laser target, destroying it upon impact. Next up, we'll show the Environment API sample, which lets you see how the time of day, weather, and other environment settings can be customized in VBS3. We can change the density of ambient life, like birds and insects, or even adjust the fog, making it really dense. We can change the sky to overcast and rainy, or crank up the wind. This is just a quick snapshot of what you can do. Our final sample illustrates the drawing capabilities of Simulation SDK. The Screen Draw API enables direct rendering on the screen, allowing you to create text and primitive 2D shapes. You can move these around, rotate their position, and even change their color. The World Surface Draw API allows you to draw shapes directly onto the terrain that can be seen both in the 3D view and the 2D map. Finally, the World Draw API can offer all of this in 3D with primitive and complex shapes.
That wraps up our overview of the samples provided with VBS Simulation SDK. We expect to add new capabilities to the SDK in future updates. If you have any questions about the SDK or are interested in using it for VBS3 development, contact our sales team at sales at bisimulations.com. And thanks for watching.